as far as the deliberation is concerned, we cannot make a constituency on the basis of religion, on the basis of the caste or any other. It has to be based absolutely on these parameters which I had mentioned. It is population is number one and four other parameters which I have identified. So we have done according to the Delimitation Act which has been passed. We have had a meeting with all the stakeholders in the election in the Innovation Commission and we had talked with Jammu and Kashmir both and we have visited some other areas as well as Istwar we have seen and we have got to Nantana, we have got to other places also. Where we have met something around 200 groups consisting of around 800 persons. This is the first time that, that uh, the Innovation Commission has gone prior to this decision uh, to meet the persons, to know their aspirations actually. We want to know from the public, we want to know from the persons on the ground that what are their aspirations, why, what, are the needed, uh, what is needed for the delimitation. So we considered all their points and after that we have made a draft uh, delimitation and we have also consulted our associate members and uh, their objections were also considered. Uh, initial draft was given to them, then they gave objections, we have met certain objections, we have again made a final draft, so we also gave it to them. They have also given certain more suggestions and after that we are going to put it in public. So now the final draft is almost ready, we will put it in public and if anybody objects or give any suggestions to that, we will have a, a hearing where we virtual or a sitting meeting. There are two different you know, concepts, how the deliberation is going to be completed. Number one, the deliberation as soon as the deliberation is completed then at least that work will be over and I think our tenure up to for the delimitation is up to 6th of May. After that, the election commission will update its role rules because okay. we were not updated okay. the rules okay. and then the election commission will review the position that what is the situation of conducting the polls mm -hmm. and only after doing the situation of security, doing so the situation of the of, of Jammu, Jammu and Kashmir at that particular point of time, they will take a call when the elections will be. If you see the last delimitation commission, when was it held? It took seven years to complete. Seven years. I, I think you should uh, know about it. It was set up in 87, it gave a result in 95. It took seven years to complete its exercise. And when we had asked that we want to have a final report about it, that how these constituencies have been framed. So that, that we were told that the, the report is not there, the report is missing. Only these are the constituencies which are there. So the commission had a, this commission had a absolutely very you know open task without any report has to, to, to go about it. Therefore, the commission decided to go to the ground and as I told you that we had direct meeting with the persons and the choices of those persons. Even the other delimitation commission had accepted certain principles like uh, you know the main objection of uh, associate number is that it should have been done absolutely on the population basis. Yes. Can it be? Because as per the delimitation commission so section 9, it says very clearly that as far as possible, all assembly, all assembly constituencies will have to be you know, geographically compact. But the consideration will have to be given to the four other parameters. What are those parameters? That is the, the, the physical features of the, of the area, the convenient, public conveniences of the area's area, communication uh, of that particular area, and the administrative units of that particular area. So these are the four factors which have to be taken into account. And even these factors were taken into account by the earlier commission also. Because if you see that one particular constituency I mentioned at Gurej was given a constituency for 30,000 person only. Because the physical feature was like this, that it could not have been merged with somebody else. So 30,000 who were perching on a particular hill, they were given a separate constituency status. Right. So when we saw now, after going to the grounds, we found that uh, you know, you know, the population density is varying 
to a great extent. If you see from Kishwar, the population density is 29 person per square kilometer. In Srinagar, can you imagine what is the density? 3400 persons per square kilometer. So the geography of the state is varying like this, where in a particular area you are having 29 persons per square kilometer, another area 3400 persons per square kilometer. Can the same standard be applied to both? It cannot be. When we had gone to Kishtabar, the persons came there and he told me that I have taken two days to reach to this headquarters. So I want certain that my MLA should be there to whom I can tell, at least in one day time. Even MLAs came that we, if, even if I want to take a whole constituency area myself, I will have to take almost a month to visit my this, this constituency. So the constituency will have to be provided so that the persons can redress the grievances, the development of that area can take place. So therefore, and some more you know areas have developed, some, something more has come like this. Earlier there were 12 districts, now there are 20 districts. Earlier there were 252 tessies, now there are 207 tessies, four times. So these anomalies will have to go out and therefore we got chart and maps prepared by the Ministry you know, of Electronic Technology also that how is the topography of each and every constituency in the district. On the hills how many persons are living and on the hills how many persons are not living in another area. So we have gone absolutely district wise, the constituency wise and the AC wise, you know charts also we have seen. The, the population density we have seen, the physical features we have seen, the, the conveniences have been seen, the, the, the administrative units we have seen that. After that, and ultimately it is one unit directory. It cannot be divided into two zones. It is one unit directory Jammu and Kashmir. So we have to decide in to do these parameters and equally we have decided that. You are also saying that it has to be in one district most of the constituencies. All, all, all my all constituencies now are in one district one only. They are not spreading from one district to another. That was a big challenge before the commission. If you would say that it should be done only on the population, then I can give it to well to my junior. Ki now this is population of 1.2 crore of a whole this thing. One right. constituency comes average right. population one lakh thirty six thousand. Wherever one thirty six said put it lying, make another constituency. Is it possible? The commission is not sitting for that. And we have taken the concern, we have made it like this, we have directly gone to the public. It is not to those ideas. And as far as uh, the, the mention which you have mentioned that uh, Jammu and Kashmir has been within one parliamentary constituency, there are 90 constitu assembly constituency and there are 5 PC over there. So each and every parliamentary constituency should have 5, 18 uh, assembly constituencies. We have made it according to that. That Anantanag has been added to the adjoining areas. Hmm. It is not that uh, we are not making any island at all, at all. And we are seeing as a one unit. So, 18 constituencies we have created uh, with, with one. Mm -hmm. with so, I think uh, now everybody has to see to it as a one unit and uh, they will have to see to it that uh, absolutely the delimitation commission is hearing the person's choice, person's wishes also. And according to that, we are making a delimitation. Mm -hmm. As far as the deliberation is concerned, we cannot make a constituency on the basis of religion, on the basis of the caste or any other. It has to be absolutely on these parameters which I had mentioned. It is population is number one and four other parameters which I have identified. So we have done according to the delimitation act which has been passed. Except that during this particular delimitation, nine constituencies have been kept reserved for scheduled drivers which were not occurred to them at all. So this is a new thing which we we, we done for the delimitation that nine ST constituencies were also. So only ST constituencies were there, seven ST constituencies now were there. Come. Now it has come. So we had the nine constituencies depending upon the high percentage of the should drive tribe in that particular constituencies. Would you make a recommendation on the Kashmiri Pandits outside of the remit of the delimitation? That delimitation commission will consider in its final discussion. Like